I think if you followed the LPGA history of the last four or five years, it won't surprise you that we're collaborating with another major stakeholder in the game because really some of our biggest successes have come from that exact strategy. You know, when we, uh, when we wanted to take a major to the next level, we partnered with the PGA of America to think about what if, and what came out of that was the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. When we wanted to take girls golf and really change the face of the game by bringing more young girls into this game, we partnered with the USGA to create the LPGA USGA Girls Golf, and that's why we've had a 90% increase in young girls joining this, uh, joining this game in the last four or five years. Uh, similarly, when we wanted to take the Kraft Nabisco to the next level, we partnered with IMG, and the result was the ANA Inspiration. So that formula has been incredibly successful for the LPGA. And so us partnering with the PGA Tour and saying, in a few areas, let's do a what if. Let's say what if we spent more time together on scheduling or working on a joint event or or uh, working together on where we could go from a digital media perspective and sharing expertise. I'm not sure what the outcome is, but based on our own recent experience, the outcome's usually better than what you envision when you make the first phone call. So I'm excited about what could come out of this collaboration. Sometimes the word alliance, I think, threw some people, but think of this as a strategic collaboration between the LPGA and the PGA Tour to say in a few areas, let's put some resources and some effort and let's ask what if.